Hey everyone, I'm back with another chapter of How the Political Wheel Spins with your host, Cinda369. Y'all already know how we do. We sip our tea, spill the tea, and try to make sense of this crazy world together. So grab your favorite mug, get comfy, and let's dive right in. Today, we're talking about something that hits close to home for all of us, our children's education. Now, I don't claim to be an expert, but as a mama bear, I'm always keeping an eye on anything that could impact my cub. And let me tell you, this latest news about Trump's plans for schools got me raising an eyebrow. That's right, folks. The Donald is back, and this time he's got education in his sight. Now, I'm not going to lie, the man knows how to make headlines. But when it comes to our kids' futures, we need more than just big talk and empty promises. We need real solutions, not some half-baked scheme cooked up in a boardroom somewhere. So what exactly is the Donald proposing? Well, buckle up, buttercups, because it's a doozy. He's talking about shaking up the whole education system as we know it. From what I hear, he wants to dismantle the Department of Education, put restrictions on what teachers can teach, and give parents more choices about where to send their kids to school. Now, on the surface, some of this might sound appealing. Who wouldn't want more choices, right? But trust me, the devil is in the details. Imagine a world where teachers are restricted in what they can teach. Imagine a world where teachers are restricted in what they can teach. Critical thinking and creativity could take a backseat to rigid curriculum. And while more choices for parents might sound great, it could lead to a system where only the privileged get the best option. We need to ensure that every child, regardless of their background, has access to quality education. So before we jump on the bandwagon, let's take a closer look at what these changes really mean. Because when it comes to our kids' futures, we can't afford to take any chances. Let's demand real solutions that benefit all students, not just a select few. After all, our children's education is the foundation of our future, and we owe it to them to get it right. First up on the chopping block, the Department of Education. Yes, you heard that right. The very institution responsible for overseeing our nation's education system might be on its way out. Now, I'll be honest, I don't always understand what they do. It's a complex web of policies, regulations, and funding allocations that can be hard to untangle. But I do know they're supposed to be looking out for our kids and making sure they're getting a good education. They set standards, provide funding, and support special programs. So getting rid of them entirely? That just seems a tad drastic, don't you think? Parents are already worried about the quality of education their children are receiving. It's like taking the referee out of a football game. Who's going to make sure everyone's playing fair? Without oversight, how do we ensure that schools are meeting educational standards? And let's be real, folks, education is already underfunded as it is. Many schools are struggling with outdated materials and crumbling infrastructure. We all know teachers are out there buying their own supplies and struggling to make ends meet. They are the unsung heroes, doing their best with limited resources. So tell me, how is getting rid of the Department of Education going to help? Will it magically solve these issues or will it just create more chaos and confusion? chaos and confusion. It's a question we all need to ponder. 
Next up, we got this whole patriotic education thing. Now, don't get me wrong, I love this country, but this idea of limiting what teachers can teach in the name of patriotism, that just rubs me the wrong way. It feels a little too much like Big Brother trying to control what our kids are thinking. Look, our kids need to learn about the good, the bad, and the ugly if they're going to grow up to be informed citizens. We can't just sugarcoat history or pretend like certain things didn't happen. That's not education. That's brainwashing. Section five, school choice. More options or more problems. And then there's the big one, school choice. Now, on the surface, this might sound like a good idea. Who wouldn't want more options for their kids, right? But here's the thing. Not all schools are created equal. And what happens to the kids who are stuck in underfunded failing schools when all the resources are going to these fancy charter schools? Look, I'm all for giving parents more choices, but not at the expense of other children. We need to lift all schools up, not just create a system where the rich get richer and the poor get left behind. Section six. Teacher pay, don't quit your day job yet. Now, let's talk about the folks who are on the front lines of education, our teachers. Now I know teaching ain't easy. It takes a special kind of person to wrangle a classroom full of kids all day. And yet they do it with a smile and a whole lot of patience. But here's the thing, you get what you pay for. And right now, we're not paying our teachers nearly enough. If we want to attract and retain the best and brightest, we need to start showing them some love in their paycheck. Section seven, higher education. The price of knowledge keeps going up. And let's not forget about higher education. College is expensive enough as it is, but with these proposed cuts, it's only going to get worse. Look, I believe everyone deserves a chance to better themselves through education. But how are our kids supposed to afford college when the price tag keeps going up and the government keeps cutting funding? It's like they want our kids to start their lives drowning in debt. We need to make college more affordable, not less. Section eight. So what's a mama to think? Look, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. This whole thing has got me feeling some kind of way. It's like a storm brewing inside me, a mix of hope and fear. On one hand, I want what's best for my kids and all our kids. I want them to have opportunities to learn, to grow, and to thrive in a world that sometimes feels stacked against them. And if some of these changes can make education better, then I'm all for it. I mean, who wouldn't want a better future for their children? A future where they can dream big and achieve even bigger. But on the other hand, I'm worried. I'm worried about the unintended consequences, the things we might not see coming. I'm worried that these changes are gonna hurt more than they help. That in our rush to fix things, we might break something even more important. I'm worried that they're gonna leave behind the very children who need the most support. The ones who are already struggling, who need that extra hand to lift them up. I don't have all the answers, but I do know this, we need to keep talking about this. We need to keep the conversation going, to listen to each other, to understand the different perspectives. We need to keep asking questions, questions that challenge the status quo, that push us to think deeper and act smarter. And most importantly, we need to keep fighting for our kids' future. Because at the end of the day, it's about them. It's about giving them the best chance to succeed 
to be happy and to make a difference in this world. Section nine, let's keep the conversation going. So what do you think, fam? Comment below, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on Trump's education plan. Do you think these changes are a good thing or are you worried like me? Let's keep the conversation going.